Political power used to be guns alone. Now, fundamentally, it is money power. It is the power to control money. It is the power to print money. Uh, it is the power to issue IOUs. Uh, it is the power to sell bonds. Uh, it is the power to have debt, to, to have national debts. This is what political power fundamentally is these days. And so they will be about as receptive in the halls of political power to a way of bypassing the power of money as a king would be to you poisoning his knights. That is the source of his power. The sword was the source of his power. The money is the source of political power. Now, politicians have nothing to offer Bitcoin users. The only thing they can do is get in the way and make things difficult. Uh, if you are a big pharmaceutical company or part of the military industrial complex, then politicians have real goodies to offer you. Hey, donate to us, be part of the system, be upfront, uh, comply with these regulations. It'll keep smaller competitors out and we'll give you all these big ass juicy contracts and uh, all this kind of great stuff. We'll give you tariff walls to competitors. We'll... So if you're in the system and you're, you're public uh, and you're a big corporation, politicians have a lot to offer you, so you'll donate a lot of money to politicians. The more economy shifts to things like Bitcoins, each individual Bitcoin user doesn't want to have anything to do with the government as much as possible, most likely. And so politicians aren't going to have anything to offer them, which means that there will be fewer donations. Uh, and uh, also, the power of the state is kind of hidden from a lot of salaried workers. Oh, yeah, they take your money and so on, but, but you're sort of hidden from the regulations. You're hidden from, uh, they're all hidden from you, the controls, the, 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 the laws, the, the accounting requirements, the, just all this stuff, these, these mountains and mountains of regulations, kind of all hidden from you. You start dealing with bitcoins, the power of the government, you know, a little bit more in your face. Very important to understand that. So it's likely that it will be attacked from a variety of reasons, but uh, since political power is based on control of money. Political freedom is based on the liberty of money, is based on removing the power of money from the ruling classes. I would argue that other than the internet, there's nothing more revolutionary, nothing with a greater capacity to enhance and expand human freedom than getting out of the pockets of the state, than getting out of the paper currency of the state, treating, a trading direct one-to-one. -one. It is an astounding opportunity to take back the power of the economy, the power of trade, the power of freedom, the power of life itself. Trade is life. Where trade is banned, people die. You don't get the division of labor, and money is incredibly uh, necessary for the facilitation of trade. A frictionless money has never existed before in history. A money without overhead or with very little overhead has never existed before in history. An untraceable money has almost never before existed in human history. This is an incredible development in allowing us to get free of the matrix of state power and state control. Now, I urge everyone, obey the laws and, and declare what you need to declare and keep track of things, talk to your accountants and so on. But what an amazing opportunity it is to, where legal, bypass the corrosive and destructive and child-eating power of fiat currency. I strongly urge you, look into this stuff, learn to understand it and recognize it for the astounding breakthrough that it is. This is Stefan Molyneux from Freedom Main Radio.